Hey guys, Keith here, and welcome to beer review number 11. Today we have Elysian Brewings, the Immortal IPA. The description on the side of the bottle says, Refreshing, hoppy, and well-balanced, the Immortal is a Northwest take on a classic English style. Golden copper in color and loaded with New World hop flavor and aroma. 6.3% alcohol by volume. Sounds like it's uh, going to be a good one. So, let's go ahead and get it cracked open and get it in the glass. And Alicia Brewing comes out of Seattle, Washington. So, props to them on legalizing marijuana. It's pouring a nice toasty amber. Pretty well carbonated. Well, I'm already smelling it, so that's a good sign. Uh, hoppy, citrusy, little grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of uh, orange peel in there. It's a color, it looks pretty hazy. Yeah, it's pretty hazy. Uh, it'll blur out pretty much any light. You can see through it, but it's still a uh, very nice toasty amber, kind of a burnt honey, hazy color. So, looks good. Nice carbonation pretty decent smell. The smell's going away now pretty quickly. Uh, initial pour, you got a whole lot of hops and a lot of that good uh, citrusy grapefruit aromas going on, but it seems to have subsided now, so let's get a taste on it and see if those flavors are still in there. Well, it's not bad. A little piney. Um, still getting the grapefruit. Kind of a more bitter fruit, more tart fruit. Uh, very pleasant. Uh, the IBUs were not listed online, but I definitely know it's not as high as the Stone IPA. That one was pretty bitter. This one's a little more mellow, so it's probably around the 50 range. Not quite to the 77 range, so well, let's give us some more taste and see what we have. Not bad. Kind of mellow. The, uh, the hops might be a little subdued, but it's not bad so far, and it's still pretty cold, so we'll let it warm up, uh, take some drinks on it, and probably do a dab or two. Got some uh, LA crossed with OG, crossed with blue wax uh, that we reviewed a little while back. Still got quite a bit of that so we'll fire up some of that and uh, let this warm up and see how it evolves and I notice it's got some good lacing going on so I don't think it's going to be too bad of a beer. And if you've had it let me know what you thought of it and I'll just be back with you here in a few and let you know what I think. Well, while we fire up this nail, I'll show you the lacing that's going on here. You can see uh, really nice lacing on this beer, so definitely a uh, decently made beer, to say the least. So as it warms up, it will expose its true self. So we're going to get this uh, dab underway here, and then we'll give it a try and see how it is. Super smooth. 
wonderful stuff. Live Well can definitely make some good wax. This stuff is really good for house wax. Uh, it's really it's really good for any wax, but especially house wax. I'd still like to see some numbers on this though. <coughs> it's probably pretty high. <coughs> but damn, it's good. So good. Definitely some props to live well on that one. That one's uh, one of the better waxes I've ever had. Last time I bought some wax, I won't say where I bought it, but it was very dull, very um, kind of brownish. You can tell I used a whole lot of plant material in that one. Probably even some stems and all that stuff. And it just doesn't produce a good wax or shatter. You want to go amber. You want it as amber as possible or even white. If you can get some white wax, you're good to go. So, alright. Enough of the dabs. Let's get a nose on this beer now that it's warmed up. It's been maybe 15 minutes. We might let it go a little longer, but we'll go ahead and get a nose on it now. Right, a little sweet. A little malty. Still a little hoppy. Uh, still pretty subtle, though. But not bad. Uh, probably one of those that you might go for on a really hot day, assuming that these aren't too expensive. And they're probably not. They're probably fairly priced. So, a lot of these I get, I get in a build your own six pack. So, they don't necessarily carry the six packs or 12 packs of these beers. So, I can't really get a fair price on it. But the build your own six pack, you get six beers for $9.99. So, it's not too bad of a deal. But, alright, let's get a taste on this thing and uh, see what we got. Well, it's almost gone. And by that I mean, well, pretty much everything. The flavor, the... Well, it's just kind of losing itself. It's not even all that warm, and it's become fairly thin, kind of watery, the hops are kind of, well, they're pretty well faded away, a little bit of that sweet malt still in there, but it's, uh, for the most part, it's lost its edge, <laughs> so, and it hasn't been all that long, so I guess we could let it warm up a few more minutes and see what we have, uh, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, maybe it's still too cold, so let's let it warm up, let's take another dab. That'll kill a few minutes. Keep our buzz good. Don't know if you can see this stuff, but it's very light. Very nice color on that. Can't really see it on the camera, but you could probably see it better in our in our uh, concentrate review on this stuff. And we're going to be on the lookout too for some more concentrates to bring you. We really like the concentrates, but I tell you, it's hard to find some of the good strains that you're looking for. These things, when they come into the dispensaries, all the, typically all the good stuff will fly off the shelf pretty quick. So, if you're not quick on it, you might miss out. And sometimes we're a little slow on that, so we're going to try to speed it up and get a hold of some of these uh, really good concentrates to bring you. Well, I really hope this thing livens up, because from the start, it was a really, really good, uh, tasty beer. But it's really losing its taste. It's becoming very thin, very watery, just a little too subtle. Well, that didn't kill a whole lot of time, but let's take a taste and see what we have going on. Well, it hasn't warmed up too much, but it is getting that hoppy bite back to it. So I think once it warms up to its uh, to maybe room temperature, you'll probably start getting the hops back into it, some of the bitterness, 
maybe a little bit of that malt will uh, come out more. It's not too bad. Um, to throw a rating on it, it would probably be somewhere around a 7 for me. Not bad. Uh, maybe a C plus, maybe a B minus, somewhere around there. Uh, not, definitely not one of the more hoppier IPAs that I've had, but not bad. I've certainly had much worse than this, so uh, not too bad, assuming the price is right. So you know you want to you want to try to judge it by the price. Going back to the Stone IPA, that stuff here in uh, Southern Colorado is basically nine dollars and ninety nine cents for a six pack. So pretty fair, about the same price as a Sam Adams Boston Lager six pack here. Back in Tennessee, Boston Lager six packs were much cheaper than they are here, so it all depends on where you live. So just kind of judge it by what you like and what your budget uh, can afford, and you know, just do like me. Build a six pack and just try a little bit of everything. If you're on a budget, it's a good way to go. Yep, not too bad. So, going with the 7 on this one, uh, I've got a bunch more treats in the fridge, so be sure to definitely catch me next time. Like, subscribe, share it, uh, comment, you know, all the good stuff. So, I'm just going to catch you on the next one, and we'll see what we got then.